All right, Jason here from Septic Tank TV. In this short video, just gonna explain what the general binding rules are. Okay, rule number one, discharge volume limit. So basically, if you have a septic tank or a sewage treat treatment plant, you must only discharge 2,000 liters a day of sewage waste into the ground or a watercourse, depending on what sewage system you've got. Next rule, rule number three, you must only put domestic sewage into the soil or a watercourse. Rule number four, the government have a zero tolerance on pollution. It says your discharge must never cause contamination of groundwater or surface water. That's fair enough, isn't it? Who wants to pollute the environment? Rule number five, it says you must choose the right treatment system. So how do you do this? Well, basically it's really simple. If you live further than 10 meters or 30 feet away from a river stream, then you must put a septic tank and soak away kit in, right? If you live closer than 30 feet to a river stream, uh, brook or ditch, then you must go for a sewage treatment plant. Um, lots of people now going for these non-electric ecosystem sewage treatment plants because they don't break down and they have a zero carbon footprint. Okay, rule number seven, right? You must protect the groundwater. So basically what this means is there's these hotspots or source protection zones in and around the country. And basically you mustn't discharge sewage into them. How do you know where they are? Well, you can go to a government uh, tool called Magic Map Tool. It'll show you where these hotspots are. Rule number nine, right? British standard compliance is the key. That's what the rule says. If your septic tank or sewage system was installed before 2015, then there's a 99% chance it's not legal. Your new system would have all the British standards. Uh, it would have a C mark and stuff like that. So that's basically how to work it out. Rule number 10, you must choose and pick the right size septic tank uh, for your property. How do you work out the size that you need for um, your sewage system? Well, we've made it really easy. Let's say you've got a four bedroom property, then you just go for a three to four bedroom septic tank and soak away kit. Job done because they conform to all the new government rules and regulations. Rule 11, right? Maintenance is key, it says, right? So you must service your system regularly. If it breaks down, then you've got to repair it within a certain amount of time. Uh, moving on, rule number 12, you must prevent sludge buildup. So it says here you must get it desludged once a year. Or you can use something called septic tank soak away worms. They eat all the sludge so you never need to get it emptied, okay? Rule number 13, it says you must inform future owners. So basically if you're selling your house, you must give them a document um, providing, it says here, written information about your sewage system, including its location, its maintenance practices, and its records. Rule number 14, you must decommission your septic tank or sewage system responsibly if you're putting a new one in. Rule 15, you must prioritize, right, public sewer connections. That basically means, it says, if you're within 30 meters of a public sewer, you've got to connect to it, full stop, no ifs, no buts. Okay, rule number 16, you must obtain the necessary approvals. Rule number 18, right, you must protect sensitive sites. So again, we're back to these hotspots around the country that the environmental agency have designated as sensitive. You mustn't go into there, into them, unless they give you permission to left, right? Rule 22, Discharge point restrictions. It says if you're installing a new system, it cannot share a discharge point with another system if the combined discharge exceeds two cubic capacities a day. So let's say there's you and your neighbor, he's putting 1500 liters a day into the ground and so are you, and you share the same system or combined, that would be 3000 liters. It's against the law now, you can't do it. You have to go onto separate systems or get a permit. And last one, rule 23, it says proximity to other discharges. It says maintain at least a 50 meter distance between your new discharge and any other nearby sewage discharge systems, right? So basically, again, if you've got a neighbor and his discharge point is 60 meters away from your discharge point in your garden, fine. If it's closer than 50 meters, then again, you've got to put it, you've got to change the location of your discharge point or 
you've got to get permission or permit from the environmental agency and building control. So that's basically it. That's the general binding rules in a nutshell. Listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. You take care. Speak to you soon.